Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I'm going to demonstrate to you how easy it is to decompile a Visual Studio app. Now, this is only for demonstration purpose. Please don't go ahead and decompile other people's library without actually getting permission from them. Okay, let's get started here. So I've got a Visual Studio 2020 here. Let me show you what I have here on the 64-bit platform. And this is a project. It's basically a Windows form project. It does nothing. It just opens up the form. And I also went ahead and did some NuGet download. Like I downloaded a Bouncy, it's on install right now. Bouncy Castle, Newton Soft JSON. And when I run this application, all it does is that it opens up a blank form. And that's all it does, right? So if I were to go to the project folder for this one here, uh, this is the project folder here. The compile or the executable file can be found in bin folder, debug, net 6.0. And this is where it is see how the program is not running so if you want to run this application double click this guy here you can see the same form comes up you can actually debug or rather decompile each of this file individually right so let me show you what i mean by that so the tool that we are going to use is called dot peak it's from a company called JetBrain. you can easily install it let's open up a google here and then search for dot peak and this is the program that you're gonna have to install once you download it just follow the instruction on the screen and once that's done you should get a screen something similar to this right so your screen might look a bit different down the road because at this time of this recording this is what I have let me show you what version I have this is the version I'm demonstrating today but nevertheless let's say for example if you want to decompile your actual application itself just drag it in there and it decompiles it and if you were to expand and look under programs here, you can see the programs are there. Now, this is an executable file, right? It's compiling, oh, sorry, decompiling it. Now, let's try the DLL for this uh, particular program here. You can see, if you go programs, you can see all the uh, compile files are all there, right? All the programs are there. Now, you think, okay, that's only your program. You can also decompile things like, uh, say, Newtonsoft as well. If you go in here, expand that guy, you can see all the programs for this particular library that I actually downloaded from uh, NuGet is available as well. Let's try doing the uh, Bouncy Castle as well. You can see all the programs are in there. I recognize that some of these programs are actually available on that github site or whatnot i'm just choosing a few of them but uh, what i'm trying to demonstrate here is that the uh, um, without a proper obfuscator tool like uh, could be from dotnet reflector or any of the commercial one or free ones this is very easy to decompile your code so just be careful out there i hope you like this tutorial if you do please like and subscribe other than that you have a good day bye now